Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, I figured today would be a good day to uh, show you my huge big mouth ported, ported heads. And um, you know, a couple guys asked me on the forums and other places about them. So this is a quick uh, go over to the huge big mouth ported heads. Feature 208, one six valve in stainless steel. Got them. Let's see. Let's see a bit of a back cut on it. Lay it back. I'll show you some of the porting there. But before I really get into porting, I should have had my flashlight here. So let me get the flashlight real fast. Nothing like being prepared, right? Okay, so we'll just move along and I'll show you the uh, flow sheet. But buddy Charlie so graciously flowed these heads and uh, I was on a Superflow 600, it's 208. You can see the numbers here. While they get kind of generous down at the bottom for the for the intake flow, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to get that valve up past, you know, up to seven or 800. Where the flow is, I mean, 312 is really, you know, kicking, but that's a lot of valve lift. And seriously speaking, most guys are going to lift it 600, maybe a little better. I'd be surprised to find some guys running at 700 lift. It's quite monstrous. I don't know if anybody out there in the world is into the uh, swirl numbers, but the N denotes that it was making noise, and it went kind of dead. And then it picked up and went bananas. Some of you more experienced head guys will know about that. And here's the exhaust flow. Not exactly cranking, and I'll show you why in a minute. Went 219 with a two inch pipe at 600. 278, 131, 321 on the roof of the intake port. 261, 153, 339, 213 and what the heck is that three 355 or 350 358 uh, a little hard to tell sometimes let's say the roof that section over there isn't moving a whole lot of air it's kind of dead it's doing okay here except for the bottom and over here it's really moving some steam on the exhaust port the bottom number is the bottom row it's the floor the center numbers are in the center of the port. And of course, the top numbers are on the top of the port. So you might be saying to yourself, how did that really do? Well, I made a graph. And the black is the hues with the big mouth uh, porting. The orange is the port of W5. That should say a 205 valve. I made a mistake, 208 and the stock W5 head with a 202. And you can see that the W5 kind of hung back just a little bit. It didn't quite peak as high as we would hope versus the big mouth. But I still have more faith in the W5 head, and I'll explain that in another video. But here at 600 lift, pretty darn close. Pretty darn close. That 700 lift. It's not much of a spread. That's only a couple CFM. You'll never know the difference. Here's the exhaust side. Same deal. Black is the hues. The greater one in the orange, that's a W5. And the pink one is the stock W5. Notice how that stock W5 hangs with the ported big mouth head pretty good right up till about 500 lift and then at 600 lift and 700 lift there's only a wee little bit the w5 peaks out there and then drops a little bit 182 i know it's kind of on the line it's just a rough graph so pay attention to that orange line this is where the w5 really really shines you can see that in another video 
245 CFM before a pipe goes on. That means that's a heck of a balance between the two. Maybe this light will help a little bit. You can see what Hughes did here. When Charlie first looked at this, he was like, oh, I bet these float 280. Uh, I know someone on the internet that also got 280 CFM out of these. It was very disappointed, but really don't know enough to fill the front page of a pamphlet on these things. I can tell you a few things, but don't listen to me. Give me a second. I'm going to uh, put these up on, a, on some headstands. So bear with me a second. Let's see if I can get a two for one going here. I doubt it. I got these stands. Uh, I think these are trick flows by, by product name, but I really don't remember. I have another set. But I figured this would be really good to put up on the stand. You just put them through the bolt holes. Where the heck is there? There's one. Presto. Not too bad, huh? Now, when I shine the light. Ooh, a little too much light, maybe. Now we can really get in there. Really get a good look at that port job. I know a few of the fellows were like, oh, how's this? How's that? And I just really don't know. I just don't know. Right, let me put you down for a second. I'll swing it around. I'll show you the intake side. Wish me some luck with this. Let's see if that helps. All right. There's your roof. Well, it looks pretty good in there. Oh, a little dirty. Yeah, I took care of that. You can see the lines left from the CNC work. Okay, I'm right up against the cylinder head now. So now you can get a good look at the port. See what he used it. One thing I thought that Hughes might have gotten is right here. See where that point is? That's where the bolt goes to hold the cylinder head down right here. Other guys will sleeve this and then grind this flat. This common wall area, I've been told over and over. The flatter that is, the less obstruction, the more CFMs you'll get out of it, and you'll get some really, really good air going on in there. All right, so I'm gonna take the cylinder head down and I'm gonna show it from another perspective. So I hope this satisfies some of you guys out there, you know, your curiosity about these heads. guys now know a lot of people have been you know asking questions about the short side radius there you go all right I'm gonna flip the head one more time bust out the other cylinder head stands This will help with some lighting. All right. Hope you're enjoying the amateur hour. 
light so it's not so unbelievable shininess and reflective all right I'm gonna flip it one more time for good measure Okay, uh, dirty that lens up. One second, guys. Hold, bear with me. All right. Hope to get some of that smudge off. There's your short side. Okay, I don't know what else to tell you about the head. Uh, they did do uh, something pretty cool. I just don't think it was uh, maximized myself. Although, yeah, this is pretty cool. You can get this already done with your Indy TA heads. As I flip the cylinder head over, I'm going to show you the, uh, the um, deck surface again. What they did was is they filled the push rod hole and then re-drilled it over. So you have to get your offset rockers. Uh, Hughes has them. They make really nice rockers. I'll show them to you in a second. But you can see, there you go. You can get a little decent focus in here. Can't seem to get a focus. Got too much to smudge. Yeah, maybe a little bit. You guys should be able to see that right there. That little circle right here try another angle oh, this really sucks my apologies guys I'll tell you what give me another second rockers these are really very very nice uh, oh, I did have the right way idiot everybody makes mistakes right these come with ARP studs these are pretty nice rockers yeah let me see if I can't swing it around this way for you guys and there you go there's your offset i think i forget exactly how much it is but it's it's enough and it really helps in making that intake port about as wide as you can really really get it i guess you could push it further but um you know that will be on you so we'll see how this one works and sets up and um We'll give it a go. We'll give it a dyno run. It'll be a little while before I get my motor. When I have an interesting motor, I think everybody's gonna be mildly entertained by. And we'll see how this head does. We'll see how the W5 head does. And we'll see how the W2 head does. We'll try a single plane. We'll try a tunnel ram. And um, I just don't see a point of putting a dual plane on. I mean, if the cam's small enough, but it's kind of wasting your your head flow and, and restriction of that intake manifold that's a dual plane. I, I don't care what dual plane you have on top, it's gonna kill it in a lot of way. Yeah, you can make a lot of power, but when you really go up the scale, using a dual plane instead of a single plane with a big cam, big compression, cubes, and the cylinder head like this in the, in the W series I have, you're just, throwing away like a hundred horsepower without even batting an eye sometimes so uh did you really build a motor to kill a hundred horse yeah i didn't think so well quick look and say goodbye till next time uh, i'll do this in a w5 head comparison side by side see you later